All right, so let's make sure we know how to convert, convert to a mixed number. Well, of course, we're converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. So if I have, I don't know, let's go crazy here. If I say I have 91 eighths, how do I convert that to a mixed number? I, I divide, right? So maybe off to the side, I'm going to do long division. So 8 goes into 91. Let's figure this out. What do you guys know? It goes in once, and then it goes in once again. What's your remainder? So remember how we do this. We take our <coughs> quotient, bless you, which is 11. So 8 goes in there 11 whole times, and then you have three left over, so we'd say that is 11 and 3 eighths. You guys with me on that? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do another one. If I have 50 over 6, how do I convert that to a mixed number? When you do long division again? So 6 goes into 50 how many times? 8. It goes in 8 times. So that's <coughs> 48 with a remainder of 2. 2. Well, that's awesome. So 50 over 6 gives me 8 whole times with 2 over 6. Do you all agree? Mm -hmm. Is this OK for me to have? I need to reduce this. I need to make sure it's in lowest terms. So 8 and 2 sixths reduces to what? 8 and 1 third. Do you all agree? Okay. Easy way. Just do the long division and you know where the pieces go. That's the whole amount and then the remainder over the divisor. And this is something that you use later on when you go to 0308 and when you go to college algebra. You need to know how to write that when you do this uh, long division. Okay, well, what if I say, let's make sure we remember how to convert to an improper fraction because we're going to be doing that. We looked at a few examples of this last time. Let's do it again just to make sure that we are all on the same page. So if I have 5 and 2 sevenths, how do I convert that to an improper fraction? What's the denominator going to be for that improper fraction? Seven. Seven. And how did I get that numerator? Five times seven. You multiply five times seven and then you add the two because think about what you're doing. You're saying you have five whole parts, five whole units that are made up of seven parts each. If you have five pieces of seven, that's 35, right? So what you're doing is that you're going to multiply these two guys here, and you're going to add in the two. So you're kind of going in this circular pattern here. So 7 times 5 is 35, plus 2 is 37. Do you all agree? Okay. If I have 10 and 2 ninths, What's the denominator for the improper fraction? The denominator is 9. How do I get that numerator? So 9 times 10, and you're going to add in the 2. So you get what? You get 92. What's well, an easy way to check to make sure that the improper fraction is the same as the mixed number? You could just divide this, right? 9 goes into 92 10 times with 2 left over. If I have 4 and 5 elevenths, what is that guy? You got to multiply the 4 times 11. 
and then you're going to add back in the 5. So 4 whole units made up of 11 pieces each, so that's what? That's 44 plus the 5 is? So 49 over 11. Is that cool? Now, when I look at these numbers, I want to be able to estimate and round to get a good idea about where these numbers are. So let's take a moment and look at some of these guys. We just want to estimate. We want to round these guys. So round slash estimate. If I look at the last number that I had, 4 and 5 elevenths. <coughs> This is approximately, whoops, lose a little squiggle equal signs to be approximately equal to. Is this closer to four or five? How do you know? It's actually closer to four. And here's the reason. Look at five over 11. Is five half of 11 or greater or less than half of 11? It's just a little bit less than that, right? So I could round this guy to four. Although if I'm doing, if I'm really doing estimating in my mind, I'm going to look at this guy more like four and a half. Because I can do some estimating with four and a half. But if we're just sticking with whole numbers, just with integers, we might say four. If I were to say seven and eight ninths, how might you round that guy? That guy's close to 8. You see that 8 over 9, that's really close to being 9 over 9, so that's close to being another whole unit. If I have negative 10, and 7 tenths, look at, look at the fractional part. What's half of 10? Five. Seven's more than five, right? So this guy is closer to being the next whole value, which would be negative 11. That's the closest one that it would be to. You guys with me on that? Uh, let's just do one more, just to make sure everybody's with me here. If I have three and one ninth, how would you round this guy? You would round that to be about three, right? Not that the fractional parts are meaningless, but we can, get, we can estimate and round to get a good idea about what our answer should be, especially when we start talking about things like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division.